I think I'm going to present two flip sides. Um, so one is talking about female competition, not just male competition. The other is going to be talking about hybridization. Um, so sexual selection can promote or impede reproductive isolation in secondary contact. And we typically study hybridization from a traditional perspective of sexual selection, so female mate choice and male competition. Um, and sexual selection can cause uh, phenotypic traits and loci to integrate asymmetrically across hybridosomes. So for example, um, in this case here, uh, female preference of red plumage of the other subspecies in fairy wrens can cause asymmetric integration of that red plumage trait across the hybridosome. And similarly, um, be between mannequins, this golden plumage can integrate from the golden collar to the white collared mannequin, um, potentially both by female preference and differential male aggression. So while um, interspecific male male competition is important in mediating patterns of gene flow across hybrid zones, female competition is much less understood. And I would argue that uh, a first step to understanding the role of female competition in hybridization uh, is to explore systems in which female competition is a major determinant of mating success. And so I invite you to the Dukana system. Um, so these are tropical shorebirds and they have a very interesting mating system. They're polyandrous. So females have harems of multiple male mates. And in these um, species, it's thought that uh, competition is a very important determinant of your mating success. Particularly, um, those territory holders have larger body mass and are more aggressive um, and can actually reproduce on those territories. The rest are floaters. And so I have two main players, um, the northern Chicana, Chicana spinosa, uh, up top, and the waddle jacana here on the right, a jacana jacana, and they have a hybrid zone in western Panama. So, in the hybrid zone, we find evidence for asymmetric integration of mitochondrial DNA. Phenotypic hybrids, these um, yellow pieces of the pie, um, they share their mitochondrial haplotypes with just one species, jacana spinosa. We don't see any phenotypic hybrids that are sharing their mitochondrial haplotypes with Jacon Jacana. And so given that mitochondrial, uh, mitochondrial haplotypes are inherited from the mom, one hypothesis that could explain this pattern is that uh, within the hybrid zone, females of Jacana spinosa are out-competing female Jacana Jacana for territories and therefore meeting opportunities. An alternative hypothesis, though, is just that the uh, alternate cross is not viable. So here I am going to explain uh, the behavioral hypothesis that female-female competition is promoting hybridization between the Jacanas. And I examine whether competitive traits are divergent between the two species, um, as well as whether competitive traits are introgressing asymmetrically across the hybrid zone. And so my sampling scheme, um, this is going from Costa Rica to Panama, I collect um, morphological, genetic, and behavioral data, um, and the hybrid zone center are these orange localities. So what I found is that Jacana spinosa females are bigger in their morphological traits related to competition, including their body mass and their wing spur length. Um, and I also found um, that Jacana spinosa females are more aggressive in response to a simulated territorial intrusion using a taxidermic mount. And so together, I think that this morphological and behavioral data might align with this pattern of asymmetrical integration of mitochondrial DNA from Jacana spinosa. Looking at the genetic transition between the species, so this is a geographic clinal analysis, and it's showing um, these, the QST, the admixture proportions, from one species to the other, and it gives us an estimate of where the hybridome center is and what the width of it is. And then I compare that to female body mass. And it looks like female body mass intergrasses asymmetrically across the hybrid zone from the larger species to the smaller species. But interestingly, so those were the population averages. If we look at individual um, body mass across the hybrid zone, there's another interesting pattern, which is that the smaller species females, Jacana Jacana, increase in their body mass in sympetry. And so I don't know whether this potential convergence is a result of introduction itself or potentially more uh, competition in the center of the hybrid zone because now the species is in contact with a potentially better competitor. 
And so I'm excited about investigating this further, as well as looking at postzygotic isolation between the species.